Hello, in this video we're going to talk about scientific notation. This is something that overall is actually really simple, but it appears really confusing and it's something that many people struggle with. Uh, so let's get started. Um, scientific notation is a way to take a really big number or a really small number and make it workable. So for example, if you have 3,500, uh, which is a fairly big number, um, that is the same as 3.5 times a thousand. Um, and a thousand can be written as 10 to the third because it's 10 times 10 times 10. Um, so I'm going to rewrite this as 3.5 times 10 to the third. Um, now scientific notation has a couple requirements. One is that we have like a 10 to a power and then also this front number has to be between 1 and 10. That's conventional if you had a number out front that was, you know, 72, you would need to bring one of those, a 10 out of that and drop it down to a 7.2. We'll talk about that. But for now, 3,500 is 3.5 times 1,000. And that in turn, 1,000 is 10 to the third. This is the scientific notation version of that number. Let's try another one. That's 1.7 million. Um, so a decimal would go right here, and you would move it over one, two, three, four, five, and then finally six spots. And this would now be 1.7 times 10 to the 6. And uh, 1.7, I, I, so one question is, how do I know when to stop? You know, how do I know I didn't, I shouldn't have done one, two, three, four, you know, five, and then had 17 times 10 to the 5th? Uh, the reason you would not do that, I'm going to write that down. 17 times 10 to the fifth and make a little cross out through it. Uh, the reason I would not do that is because this number is not between 1 and 10. This number is between 1 and 10. So that's why you know to stop uh, you know, at, at the 1.7 when the decimal is at, right there. Um, maybe just try one more. Um, 77,500. Here the decimal would move over 1, 2, 3, four spots. So this is 7.75 times 10 to the fourth. Uh, scientific notation can be used for really small numbers as well. So for example, if you had 0 .000258, you would have to move the decimal over to this position to get 2.58. You would move it over one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four times. And this would now be 2.58 times 10 to the negative fourth. Uh, when you have a very small number, the exponent is going to be a negative because 10 to the negative fourth is actually 1 over 10 to the fourth, which is a really small number. 1 over a small number, 1 over a big number makes a small number. Um, if you had uh, 0.0625, that would move over two spots. So that would be 6.25 times 10 to the negative 2. So that's just how scientific notation uh, moves back and forth from a, um, a number to the scientific notation. Let's practice this on the calculator for a few minutes. Um, let me zoom in my calculator. This little EE right here, that is called, that is the scientific notation key on any calculator. And for mine, I, I put a second EE. This is a TI-84, but there's lots of options. Um, so if I did, say, 7.75 7.75 times 10 to the fourth I would do 7.75 second EE4 and that's 77,500 with this guy I just did 6.25 times 10 to the negative 2 6.25 second EE negative 2 that's now my point zero. 625 that I had a moment ago. And then finally up top, I had this uh, 1.7 million, 1.7 EE6. That's 1.7 million now. So that's how you can do it on the calculator. Um, so another place with scientific notation that people really struggle is, is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So let's talk about that. Uh, first of all, with adding and subtracting, 
there's not there's a very limited circumstance when you can add or subtract. And what that is is when the 10 to the powers are the same. So here I've got 2.5 times 10 to the third plus 1.3 times 10 to the third. If that happens, you can add these first numbers. Uh, that would be 3.8 times 10 to the third, and that's it. Uh, if this was 10 to the fourth and that was 10 to the seventh, you could not add them uh, in scientific notation form at least. You'd have to convert them to just a regular number and then add them after that. Um, 10 to the third is 1,000. So this is like saying 2.5 thousand or 2,500 plus 1.3 times 1,000, 1,300 equals 3,800. So that kind of seems to make sense. Subtraction works the same way. Okay, multiply and divide. Let's let's take a look at that. Uh, we'll start with division. Um, 7.5 uh, times 10 to the 7th um, over 1.5 times 10 to the 3rd. Okay? Um, if you have scientific notation terms that you want to divide, you're going to divide these numbers first and then these numbers next. Um, 7.5 divided by 1.5 comes out nicely. It's 5. And then if you want to divide uh, these tens with exponents, the rule of exponents in division is that you subtract the exponents. So you're going to do 7 minus 3. 5 times 10 to the 4th. That's it. Uh, let's check it on the calculator. I'll show you how you can, how you can check this. Um, I would do parenthesis uh, 7.5, oops, parenthesis 7.5, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 7th, excuse me. So that's my top number. Divide, and then 1.5, 10 to the 3rd. And you can see we get 50,000. And uh, if I were to just type in 5, 10 to the 4th, that's 50,000. The, the bad thing about the calculator is it doesn't put it into scientific notation for you. You can only do that here. So uh, if you need an answer in scientific notation, then you're probably going to have to kind of do it yourself. Uh, one more, uh, uh, another example here um, is what if I had, uh, say, 0.5 uh, times 10 to the third uh, divided by uh, 4 uh, times 10 to the 2. Okay, Something goofy happens here. Uh, if you divide 0.5 by 4, uh, you get, first of all, this is not in proper scientific notation because it's not between 1 and 10, but we'll let that slide for right now. 0.5 divided by 4 is 0.125, and then um, 10 to the 3rd over 10 to the 2 would subtract out to be just 10 to the 1. And uh, here, uh, if I wanted to represent this with uh, proper scientific notation, I need to move the decimal over 1. So that would be um, uh, 1.25 times 10 to the minus 1, and then also times 10 to the plus 1. And for those of you that are good at exponent rules, you know that you when you multiply two bases that are the same with these different exponents, they add up. And in this case, they would just be 1.25 times 10 to the 0, which is just 1.25 times 1, or just 1.25. So that's kind of a weird case. Uh, we'll do another one that kind of falls into that category. But if you end up with something that does not fall in the proper scientific notation, uh, you have to kind of move the decimal over until it is in proper scientific notation. Let's try another one. How about, uh, um, uh, we'll do uh, 8.5 uh, times 10 to the seventh. And let's just divide this by uh, a number that's not in scientific notation. That might be actually kind of a, a good exercise. How about uh, uh, just do uh, 
How about just point 0.1 like that? Um, now, there's a couple ways you could approach this. One way is you could say, hmm, that point 0.1, that looks kind of like it could be in scientific notation. It could be like this, 1 times, move this over 1, 10 to the negative 1. And that would be 8.5 because 8.5 divided by 1 is itself. And then if you subtract these, watch this. 7 minus a negative 1. What's 7 minus a negative 1? It's actually a plus 1, so it's actually 10 to the 8th. So that's one way you could think of this. If you didn't notice that, you could actually just divide these numbers and say, what's 8.5 divided by 0.1? Well, it's actually 85. Um, so you could write this as 85 times 10 to the 7th, and then... Uh, uh, 85 is not a proper scientific notation number. It should be, uh, we should move this over 1 and make it 8.5 times 10 to the 1 and then 10 to the 7. And uh, you add those because you're multiplying uh, the uh, bases that are the same, so you add the exponents, and so you end up with 8.5 times 10 to the 8th again. Okay, last thing here is multiplication. Uh, multiplication works just like division. You multiply the front numbers, you multiply the tens. Uh, if you had 5 times 10 to the 7th uh, times 7 times 10 to the 3rd, uh, you're going to multiply the 5 and the 7, that's 35. And then 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 3rd is 10 to the 10th, a very large number. And notice that this is not proper scientific notation, so move this over 1, and you're going to have 3.5 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 10, and that finally will be 3.5, uh, and that's 10 to the 11 power because you add the 1 and the 10. Uh, I hope this helped out a lot, guys. Um, please uh, continue letting me know what kind of videos you want and need, and I hope you have a wonderful day.